Yo, what in the world is going on with Mike Bastille as a late? Yo, we about to talk about this, man, because this is serious. Selling on Amazon has absolutely changed our lives. You want to know something? We're going to help you guys get there, too. All these people are talking about wanting to sell you a lifestyle. We're here to sell you a life. Yo, so what's up, guys? If you're new, welcome to the channel. I'm the Dropshipping Terminator. Me and my partner, the Dan is still, since you guys don't know, we talk all about that e-commerce life, Amazon private label drop shipping, FBA, a little Shopify here and there, just e-commerce in general. If that sounds good to you, make sure you guys subscribe, click the little notification bell so you can get updated on all the happenings that's going on on the channel. Get into the free Facebook group below where we hook you up with all that e-commerce knowledge. So, all you regulars, I mean, y'all know what time it is. Let's go ahead, let's get right into it. Now, Mike Vestille. Yo, let's preface this. I love Mike Bastille. I think Mike Bastille, cool as hell, man. Cool, cool cat. Three, two, one, freedom! I would love to meet him. I'd love to shake his hand, love to sit down and chat with him. Cause he mad cool, man. He kinda he, he kinda put um drop shipping on the map back in the day. You know, I remember watching a lot of his content, you know, back when he was running around in the jungles of the Philippines with the bandana, back before he started on his whole little CrossFit journey and you know, his intermittent fasting or whatever, his keto diet, whatever he's doing to stay shredded and all that stuff. I might have to get some tips from him, you know, so I can get all shredded, you know. Uh, as Chris Jones would say, ho ready, so to speak. Love you, Chris Jones. Love you, Mike, but still. But uh, yeah, so we gonna have to talk about this. I, like, what's going on, Mike? Like, all of a sudden, drop shipping is like the worst thing on the planet? Like, it's terrible? So drop shipping is probably one of the dumbest business ideas ever known to man. And if you're thinking about doing it or if you do it, you should probably stop. When you was putting drop shipping on a map, like y'all need to go check that video out where he talking about drop shipping is, is terrible. Like drop shipping sucks. Like what? Like you was the one talking about drop shipping. Like you, you and a few others are like the drop shipping kings around here, man. And all of a sudden you saying drop shipping sucks? No, like drop shipping does not suck. Like drop shipping sucks if you suck at it, but it does not suck in general. So let's, let's go ahead, let's talk about this, man, because I feel that a lot of people are going to take that to heart and they're going to get scared and they're not going to want to join in. Now, you guys also know that I like to razzle the retail arbitrage guys a little bit, but you know, we cool, man. Like my friends do it. They make money. A lot of you guys do it. Y'all make money with it. So yo, y'all do whatever y'all do, baby. Get it how you get it. Get it however you live. Now, in his video, he talks about how he was selling on eBay, right? Making like 30, 40K a month. Well, not making, I mean, he was doing that in sales, but he was only making like $1,000 in profit. Now, retail arbitrage, you guys know right off the bat, the margins are generally much slimmer, okay? But his margins were much slimmer than most. For him to do 40,000 and only make $1,000, like, that, he's just a bad drop shipper. Like, Mike, I'm sorry, bro, but you're just a bad drop shipper for you to only make $1,000. You know, if you're selling 40K a month and you only making 1,000 profit, like, either you had the most expensive software or the most expensive VAs on the planet. And the second one, I can't believe because you were actually in the Philippines, so you were able to get VAs much cheaper than everyone else. So that lets me know you were picking the wrong products to begin with. Your customer service was probably trash. You had a lot of returns and so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and get that out the way. Guys, drop shipping does not suck. Drop shipping sucks if you suck. You know, he's like, oh, you know, there's all these things you have to worry about. You're not building your real business and blah, 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 blah. Granted, yes. Like, you know, if you're doing retail arbitrage, you're not really building a brand or business. Okay. We all know that. We tell you guys that all the time. I mean, if you guys aren't looking for a viable long-term solution, then retail arbitrage is going to be the thing for you. It's quick money. It's a cash flow business. You're in and out, you know, before you get suspended generally. Like if you need money to pay your rent for the next like year or something like that, or, you know, you want to get a trip to Disney going in, retail arbitrage is going to be your thing. All right. Cause chances are you'll probably get suspended and all this other stuff. And we all know how that goes. Now, if you're trying to build a long-term you know, business, then yes, you're going to need a brand. Just like he mentioned, you need to be focusing on your brand. And that's what we do. Now, a lot of people, you know, you guys have heard from like Mark or whatever. He's like, oh, you know, it's really, really simplistic. Just do this. That's not necessarily how you always go about doing it, guys. Like, you know, at this stage, you know, when we drop ship stuff. We have our label on things. You know, we have our registered data. We have Eric, you know. So Eric has been with us for a long time. And if it hadn't been for him, we would still be doing things in an archaic way. Like, chances are we probably would have, you know, beefed up the business. But having a registered agent made all the difference because we're able to go to him and say, yo, this is how we want this to look. Like, tell me the dimensions of the packaging so we can get a designer to draw that up. And in some cases, he can put us in touch with someone that can get those packages done for us we're like yo put this label on it or make it look like this put it on there we you know we want to start drop shipping this how much is it going to cost to prepay for maybe 50 pieces 
to have that on there. We just want to see, you know, how it does, you know, how it looks. And, you know, he'll get it done for us and all that. Now, granted, you guys don't have to do that. You can go to Fiverr, get, you know, get um, your packaging design and all that stuff. So, you know, that's, that goes with a grain of salt. But, um, you know, with private label drop shipping, you know, that's just what it is. You know, you are moving to a private label brand. You're trying to get into the FBA game and build out that, that brand. You're trying to build something that's going to be sustainable over the long haul. It's a lot more work to do it this way, but over the long haul, you have nothing to worry about. You guys know we have the car shop, you know, Speed Circuit is still standing. It's been around for a long time, almost 10 years now, if not 10 years, long, long time. And, you know, it, it's a brand that's, that, you know, can live and, and breathe on its own, whether, you know, I'm a part of it or not, you know. Someone else could come in, you know, take over ownership and the brand would still be there. And that's kind of what you want, okay? You want to have a brand that isn't just you, okay? You want to have a brand that is built larger than you when it comes to the retail space. You know, you don't want to be the face of that and then if something happens to you, that brand disappears, okay? So when you're in retail arbitrage and you're drop shipping from Walmart, um, you know, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, places like that, you're, you're basically the face of that business, okay? Anything happens, that's it, business done. So you don't want that, guys. You want something that's gonna stand on its own. Look, it's like, we always use this as an example. Snow teeth whitening, mission critical baby carriers. Snow teeth whitening blew the F up, guys. And they still drop ship, okay? They have their own custom packaging. They reached out to influencers. They reached out to celebrities. Yo, market this for us. Here, we'll give you free teeth whitening. Tell us how you like it. Guys, like, that's what you want to get to if you're trying to have long-term success. You know, with the shop, like we sell parts that are not ours. You know, we wholesale and we drop ship those. They come from our vendor. You know, we use Turn 14, Motivicity. Turn 14 is like 20, 30 minutes from my house. You know, same thing with um with Extreme PSI. I've known those guys since I was a kid. You know, the, they get those parts, they send them directly to the customer, okay? It's all like, that's what you guys should be striving for, all right? That's what you guys should be striving for. Not what Mike Vestil is talking about. Not for that quick in and out money. That's the reason why he's saying drop shipping sucks, okay? It's because he was in that quick in and out money, not necessarily building a real brand. And if he did build a real brand, he, his profit margins wouldn't have been so low. That's how I know. So if he comes back, he sees this video, and he doesn't like me at any point, and he's like, I did build a real brand, that's not true, all right? We've done retail arbitrage. We know the retail arbitrage, guys. Like, that's, that's simply not true. Like, you didn't build a brand, do 40,000 in sales, and make a thousand dollars in profit that's just a bunch of hooey like literally a bunch of hooey like don't don't tell me that crap because i could sell five turbo kits and make more profit than that and that's selling someone else's turbo kits making more profit than that and selling way less like don't 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 try to play me homeboy just don't um you know he also mentions that it's like the lowest barrier like it makes you the like the lowest of the low entrepreneur and granted, retail arbitrage is the lowest hanging fruit and it's the lowest barrier to entry and just about anyone can do it. Um, it doesn't make your entrepreneurial journey any less important or any less valuable. In some cases, most RA guys are bottom feeders, okay? You can go into any group, you'll see guys fighting for scraps. They're just trying to, you know, make a quick buck. Like those are the, the worst of the worst because they're really not trying to provide any value, okay? But for the average person, the average entrepreneur, they're really trying to do something different. They're trying to do something better. And they may not have the capital to move into private label or wholesaling or, or getting into traditional FBA or something along those lines. So they're trying to do the best that they can. It does not make them a crappy entrepreneur. It just makes them a new entrepreneur, okay? It doesn't make them terrible people, okay? Like retail arbitrage doesn't make you a terrible person. You're not necessarily providing value in a way. You know, you're the middleman. Like you, that's strict. That's it. That's all you are. You're the middleman. You know, there is no brand. You're just kind of the middleman facilitating a deal, which is okay. It's fine. If that's how you making your money, get it how you get it, period. You guys know, we always say that make money. However, you can make it while, you know, we vote that RA is not, you know, something long, you know, long term, you should definitely, definitely start somewhere. Right. So like Mike still can't necessarily say that like you're the lowest of the low if you're doing retail arbitrage. I just think that's, that's kind of asinine and I don't think that's fair to say. Now, if you're just a bottom feeder, all right, cool, you know, his, his point stands. But the average person really isn't that bottom feeder. You guys are, you know, trying to make your money. You're trying to figure out what you're, what you're gonna do in the entrepreneur space. And for a lot of people, this is their first business. 
So, you know, you're not going to know all the things. You're not going to have all the, the right moves. You're not going to have all the right, um, the right tools and, and mentorship when you first start. You know, you guys are just, you know, stumbling around like babes, babes in the woods, you know, trying to figure it out. So, you know, there's that. But this whole thing, like, that, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way uh, as far as, you know, him talking about drop shipping, you know, being something terrible. Um, like margins are, you know, margins are slim. Like you're a terrible person if you do certain things. And like drop shipping is not that. All right. I mean, if drop shipping was all that terrible, you guys wouldn't be watching the channel. You guys wouldn't be making money. Our students wouldn't be making money. I mean, you know, everyone else like Matt, Tyler, Tom, Amanda, Ty, like Ty, um, you know, Rex, Jeremy, everyone, all these people wouldn't be making money. Like it, it's. It just, it makes absolutely no sense for him to say that. And his whole brand was initially built on drop shipping. So for him to switch up and turn, turn face and be like, nah, drop shipping's terrible. Like, I think that kind of alienates his main source of, of followers, his main, um, his, his, his main people, you know, that, that would be like me, you know, going back, you know, to the farm, talking to all, sorry guys, all my friends and family, all my relatives, like, yo, like, y'all trash now now that i got an education now that i'm making amazon money now that i got a shop now that i have all these things like you're a nobody like you guys supported me but you ain't no, you ain't nothing because you're not doing what i'm currently doing I, and at this stage you know he's moved on to different things he's trying to get into um like the high ticket consulting um if i'm not mistaken and uh you know and that's fine man that's fine get it however you get it and obviously that's working very very well for him but you know to alienate your core base and say that drop shipping is trash that ain't trash I mean, I'll be the first one to, you know, say it. Like, yeah, I give RA dropshippers a lot of crap and, you know, people get mad and they get all butt hurt and stuff, but it's all in good fun, man. You guys know that I, I'm, I'm all about getting it how you get it. Make money however you can make money. I don't care if you do RA, private label, dropshipping. I don't care if you're in affiliate marketing. I don't care if you're cutting lawns. I don't care if you're babysitting. I don't care if you're scrubbing toe jam out from, you know, old ladies, you know, crusty little foot knuckles. Whatever you got to do to make money, man, get it how you can get it, okay? And take it from me. This is somebody who had $3.67 in their bank account at one point, and I had no money to really get into dropship, and I had to start flipping free stuff on Craigslist to get into flipping cell phones on Craigslist and Swappa, and then get into, you know, drop shipping and everything else, like, you know, the whole thing with the shop and all that. So, guys, like, you know, I, I had to start from the bottom, like, like the majority of you. I didn't have the money to get into this and you know for the people that do you know don't let you know like a bigger youtuber deter you from that man you know run your race make your money and you guys will, will do just fine so um yeah go check out mike Bastille video on that i think it, it was you know dropped a few days ago a week ago i'm not sure when this video is going up but whatever so yeah man catch you guys in the next one make sure you guys you know subscribe click the little notification bell you guys know what to do get into the free facebook group if you like this type of content make sure you leave a comment down below man tell you know tell us what you like what you don't like about it and you know we'll try to you know change it up do something different all right so i'm gonna catch you on the next one be safe be smart peace out later days